really quick video to how to use small basic to add a rectangle and to rotate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by using the graphics window and using tab to complete it. And I'm going to set a background colour. I'm going to say that I want the background colour to be green for no particular reason, just to show I can do it. You can see, press run, we get a green background colour. Equally, if I change that to something like red and run it, we get a red background. It doesn't really matter. The easiest way to make a rectangle is to use graphics window and then either use the rectangle option or to use the fill rectangle. I'm going to use the fill rectangle this time. I'm going to specify that I want it to be 20 pixels across on the x-axis from the side and 20 pixels from the top. I want the width to be 500 pixels and I want the height to be 200 pixels. And if I press run, we've still got the red background. We've now got a blue rectangle on the background. And obviously if I change things like the x-axis position here, something like 100, and press run, you'll see it moves across the screen. And equally if I change it there, it will move down the screen. Okay? But that doesn't work very well if we want to rotate it, because this is a fixed position. So instead of using that, we're going to create a new shape, and I'm going to call it my rectangle. It's a variable. And within my rectangle, I'm going to say that I want shapes. And what I want it to be is I want to add a rectangle. And what I'm going to do with that same idea, so it's going to be 500 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall. When you run this, you'll see it goes right into the top left-hand corner. So if I now want to move that, what I can do is I can go to Shapes, and I can go to Move. I can use the variable name I created, so I can say My Rectangle. And I can do the same thing I did before. I can set it so it's 100 pixels from the x-axis and 50 pixels down on the y-axis. And press Run. You'll see it's now moved. But because I've set my rectangle as a variable, I can actually now rotate it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Shapes, and I'm going to go to Rotate. I'm going to use the My Rectangle name. And I'm going to choose the angle. Now, the angle is entirely up to you. It's just in degrees. So I'm going to do 45 degrees, which should rotate it. I think because of the size, it will no longer fit on the page. As you can see, that's now a bit big. So I've got a choice. I can change the angle. Or I can go back to here and reduce the size. We can make this 300 by 100 now. And if I press run, you'll see it's gone down. It's a bit too close to the top of the page now. So if we change that to 50 on the shapes move to something like 100, you can see it's gone a bit further down the page. And equally, if I change these rotations, so if I change it to 90, we should see it's turned around 90. Okay, if I turn it to like 120, turn around 120 degrees. So it's quite an easy one to do and it allows us then to add shapes at different angles and potentially to make our own drawings as well. The My Rectangle name is not special, it's just a variable. So as long as it matches the instructions in the shape ones, we can change it to whatever we like, but we should try and make it something that makes sense that Bob doesn't and My Rectangle does. Okay, I hope that helps.